This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo Levels 9-10, Prom number 26. The positive integers A, B, and C each have three digits, and for each integer, the first digit is the same as its last digit. Also, B is equal to 2A plus 1, and C is equal to 2B plus 1. How many possible values are there for the integer A? A, 0, B, 1, C, 2, D, 3, or E, more than 3. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, we know that for each integer, the first digit is the same as its last digit. So for A, if we say the last digit is X, then the first digit must also be X. The problem also tells us that b is equal to 2a plus 1. Therefore, if the last digit of integer a is x, the last digit of integer b must be 2x plus 1, which again must also match its first digit. We also know that c is equal to 2 times sorry, 2 times b plus 1. So if we take 2x plus 1, multiply it by 2, and add 1, we will get 4x plus 3. So 4x plus 3 is the last digit, but must also be the first digit. Now let's think what numbers x could be. If x is equal to 2, then 2x plus 1 would be equal to 5, and 4x plus 3 would be equal to 11. We can see that this obviously won't work because they must be digits, and 11 is not. So, we know that 2 is too big, which means that the only number that would work must be 1. And it does. Get 1, 3, and then 7. Now let's think what numbers we can put in the middle to work. Well, we know that the number in the middle must be greater than 5, because if it was less than 5, a times 2 plus 1 wouldn't be a number in the 300s. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's test that. If we have 5 here, then here we would have 0. And that doesn't work because 303 times 2 won't give you a number in the 700s. So 5 doesn't work. If we add 6, then this would be a 2. And again, that wouldn't work because 323 times 2 is less than 700. If we add 7, then we would have 4. And again, the same thing's true. We're getting closer to 700, but not there yet. Now, if we have 8 here, then we would have 6 here which does work because here we would have 2. So 8 works. Now let's see what would happen if we have 9. Then we would have 383 and 767. So we can see that that also works. 8 and 9 both work. So the question's asking us for how many possible values are there for the integer a, and we can see that we have two possible values, 181 and 191, which makes the answer answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.